Catfish Chum Bait 101. The first video went over so well, I figured I'll make another one with a little bit more information in it. So the biggest question is, what is Milo and where can I get it? This is Milo. It's a seed or a grain that they use for birds for the most part. As you see, it has 8% crude protein, 2.5% crude fat, and 3% crude fiber. You can get it at a tractor supply, some IGA food stores in the countryside that carry grains and food blocks and such, they'll have it. Um, any feed store carries corn or anything else, they should have it. Peas, any place a farmer will go to buy their seeds, they should have your Milo. Just call around, you can find it. Now you can't find Milo. Another thing you can use is corn. Just like you'd sour it and do it up for hogs, same thing will work for catfish. Another thing that they use that nobody publicizes, cottonseed blocks. Take that cottonseed block, throw it in there, same thing. It's just all little seeds from the cotton. So a number of different things you can use. So if you mix yeast, corn, and sugar, you start to make whiskey, white lightning, whatever. That's essentially what we're doing here, but with Milo, and we're going to make it really stinky. We're just not going into the further process. We're just using the first fermenting process. So what we'll be doing is catching drunk catfish, essentially. I rip open all three packets and just dump it all in there. As you can see, there's still old Milo in there, too. Next comes the sugar. The whole bag, and that gives the yeast something to work on. Who doesn't use chicken livers for catfishing? Me! I don't mess with that crap no more, but I will use it to stink my bait up. Now you don't necessarily have to use those ingredients to get this stinking. If you want to go simpler, throw some food scraps in from dinner. And dump a beer or two in it, and that'll do just about the same thing. It's all about the time that you take to let it sit and rot. I'm just going to dump the whole 50 pound thing of Milo in here. I'm using a 35 gallon trash can. So it allows me to make quite a bit to a time. So you're probably going to spend a couple dollars for the sugar, maybe a buck fifty to two dollars tops on the yeast, and a dollar thirty on that container of chicken livers. Your Milo, that's going to cost you about twenty-two dollars, so that's running about eleven to twelve dollars per bag, per fifty. Trash can, cheap, thirty-five gallon trash can, that was less than a ten dollar bill. I think nine ninety-nine over at Walmart a couple years ago. So this will put hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of dollars worth of catfish in my freezer every year. And the last thing I have to do right now is just top this off with water, a couple inches over the top, and let it sit for about three weeks until it sinks and starts stinking a little bit. The black trash can itself will help to warm that water up with the sun, and that's all you have to do. If your hose don't reach, just stick it behind the fence and let it get on in there and hope the Vicky dog doesn't get to your water. Just top that off with water, stick the lid on it, let it sit for about three weeks, and then take it out and go fishing. Check out some of the fish you can catch. There's some good cats out there and they all feed on this stuff. Thanks for watching, y'all.